Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my 2006 Porsche Cayman S. This is a car I co-own with my buddy James and over the last couple of months we've done quite a few mods to it in the pursuit of making this the ultimate street and canyon 987 Cayman S. This is not a car that will see track time. The 987.1 is just not a good platform for that type of driving. I've mentioned the reasons why in previous videos, so I won't go into that today, but I will just mention some of the mods that we did to make this car feel better on a canyon road and on a daily basis, and then I'll be taking it for my very first canyon drive since we installed one critical component. So first things first, we replaced the OEM steering wheel with this Momo 350 millimeter Monte Carlo steering wheel with a works bell hub. We have the function first classic shift knob as well as the numeric transmission kit, which includes the short shifter kit as well as upgraded cables with the goal of fixing that ultra sloppy and just vague shifter feel of the stock 987. We also put on a set of Apex SM10 wheels. They're 18 inch all around and they're wrapped in Falcon RT660 tires. A very sticky 200 treadwear tire, probably overkill for this type of driving, but the benefit of a tire like this with a stiff sidewall and lots of rubber is just very, very direct steering feel. And that's one area where I've always been a fan of the 987 even over the later 981 and 982 Caymans, this car has the best steering feel out of all the Cayman generations and with this smaller diameter much lighter weight Momo steering wheel combined with these sticky tires it should improve the steering feel even more. And last but not least and the thing that I'm most curious to test out today is the updated Olin's Road and Track suspension. And Olin's has recently made some tweaks to their 987 system to make it feel and perform even better, including additional front shock travel and some adjustments to the dual flow valve settings. And this car also came with a top gear valved exhaust, so it gives us that dual personality. We can keep the valve closed when we're just driving around town. Here in the canyons, obviously, we're gonna let this flat six sing. mud on these tires because the car is just not gripping right now. One thing I'm loving and noticing right away is the steering feel. I really think this smaller diameter steering wheel has made a huge, huge difference. I think people often overlook the importance of the steering wheel itself when talking about steering feel. Because if you think about it, the steering wheel is an extra level or layer of insulation between you and the road, between your hands and what's happening with the front tires. So if you have a lighter, more grippy wheel, it actually enhances the steering feedback coming through. And that's definitely what I'm feeling here. I've always felt that the stock steering wheel in the 987 Cayman S felt very flimsy and heavy, very thin rim, not especially grippy to hold because of that leather and the way it ages over time. But this just feels so much better. Now how about 
these Olin's road and track coilovers. Well, they are by far the biggest game changer of all the mods that James and I have done. Two words to describe this car now with the suspension. Firm and compliant. The car just rolls a lot less in the corners now, but it still soaks up the bumps beautifully. If anything, it soaks up the bumps better than the stock suspension. I've always thought the stock non-PASM 987.1S suspension was one of the slightly weaker parts of this platform. Because when you're just driving around town normally or on the freeway, it actually feels rather stiff. It crashes over the bumps and expansion joints. But then once you get the car in the canyons or on a racetrack, it then begins to feel soft. You feel that low spring rate. The car just moves around a little bit too much and doesn't give you that direct control that you're looking for. But the Olin's Road and Track is a tried and true formula on so many platforms. And not having driven the previous version of this kit for the 987, I can't comment on how much better this revised kit feels. But I will say that it is virtually flawless for a canyon focused or street focused coilover. I think it even helps with the front end directness and the steering feel. And the car just responds to inputs better now. Yeah, all the inputs of this car have been drastically sharpened up. The shifter, the steering. Next up might be the brakes. We're still on the stock brakes, stock pads. They're okay for canyon driving, but I wouldn't mind a little bit of a firmer pedal with more initial bite. This suspension with these tires really just go a long way in improving the cornering performance of an already very well balanced and nimble sports car. these mods as quality of life mods. They just improve the overall enjoyment of the car at all speeds. Whether you're ripping up a back road or just cruising on the freeway, this car just feels dramatically more enjoyable to drive than a stock 987.1S. Remember, I used to own a bone stock version of this car and I never fell in love with it, but with these mods, maybe it just needs a couple more things and it might just be perfect. Hell, even this exhaust sounds great. So much better than the stock exhaust. Just rowing through these gears is so much more pleasurable than before. This numeric shifter kit, it does take some fiddling with to get it perfect. But I would say the juice is worth the squeeze because this is what this car should have come with from the factory. This makes it feel like a sort of 987 GT4, if you will. The shift feel, the steering, the suspension, and it's what I would have imagined Porsche could have made back in the day if they wanted to make a more hardcore 987. Now I know they made the 987.2 Cayman R, but that car to me never felt quite dialed in. It felt like they threw more spring rate, more roll bars, more damping at it, but it just didn't quite work for me. But this car, with the Olins, with the tires, the wheels, and the quality of life for input upgrades, really does feel like it could have come from the factory this way. And people would have raved about it. I guarantee you that. You know, people often talk about OEM plus builds, and what does that mean? Does it mean you're taking 
OEM parts from the best versions of a certain car or other models within that same brand and throwing it at a car to make it feel and perform better. At least that's not how I use that term. I use the term to describe a car that is modified in such a way, regardless of where the parts are from, that make the car feel like it could have come from the factory that way. Meaning the car hasn't been taken too far or made too hardcore. It still needs some compliance in its suspension, some good ride quality, a comfortable interior, at least relative to what the base car had at the time, but enhancing it in various ways to still make it feel like a complete and well-balanced package. And that's exactly how I would describe this Cayman S now. So to recap, these are the mods that have transformed this Cayman S. Momo steering wheel, works bell hub, function first classic shift knob, numeric transmission upgrade with the shifter cables and the short shift kit, Olin's road and track suspension with the updated design soon to be released, some Apex SM10 wheels with some Falcon RT660 tires, and then of course, throw on a nice exhaust. Anyways guys, let me know what you think of my 987.1 OEM Plus Cayman S build. What other parts would you like to see on this car that you think would fit the overall theme of this build? Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more Cayman content, and I'll see you in the next one.